Anyhow, welcome back to my channel, Rutosi's Lens, formerly Mandarin with Tosi. I don't know, I just changed the name of the channel from Mandarin with Tosi to through, through Tosi's Lens because the channel I am thinking about is not just a channel that will deal with Mandarin Chinese, but almost everything that is my life so here we go subscribe down here here by clicking the red button that is written subscribe it's free kindly subscribe let's grow let's have a big family that is ready to love to learn and to live yes so today we have a chinese lesson it's saturday and saturdays i'm planning to be shooting a number of chinese mandarin mandarin chinese lessons that will help us grow the mandarin chinese part of my life and yours too what i mean is i've been posting a number of videos lately that are not Chinese related so today let's get into it I have a book here with me that I will be using just to guide me so that I don't ramble too much and um, I think I've posted a video talking about the Chinese tones Sheng Diao. we have five tones we have Yi Sheng, Er Sheng, San Sheng, Si Sheng, Di Wu Sheng. Yeah. So the first tone is this one. It is represented by, you might call it a hyphen on the syllables, on the vowel on a syllable. It, it is put on the top of a vowel yes in a syllable and majorly normally it is if it's sha or cha you put it in a if it is uh if it is something like uh what 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 show this one show i'll put it on an o and not you you get the drift yes let's get going so we have tones, then we have pinyin, I think we've talked about this, I'll link the video here, click on it, um, it is uh, what, pinyin is the alphabetical system of representing Chinese words, yes, and pinyin, a pinyin word for example is formed by having a consonant which is called initial in Chinese system of describing words and then followed by a final which in our case English or French or whichever we call it vowel so get that I'm just brushing through what is so basic and then we have now the characters Remember, we have tones, we have the pinyin, we have characters. Good. Yes. So remember those. And today, I just want us to look into a certain conversation because um, we'll be learning so many vocabularies. We'll be learning a bit of grammar here and there. But um, we might not know how to use these words in the end. So let's begin by having a conversation based on greetings. Um, <clears throat> I'll be both the first and the second person, or even the third, considering I'm alone here, but you can reply and be the second person enjoy watching please kindly subscribe yes 
let's get into this and if you like the video give it a thumbs up because we grow we grow when you like the video that shows me that you enjoy the content yes so in the morning Jiantao 你可以说早 Good Then During the day 比如说从中午到 中午是中午十二点钟嘛，但是从早上到中午的那一段时间是上午，所以上午好，上午好，你好，你好，上午好，上午好，上午好，上午好，现在是下午，我不会跟你说下午好。我会说下午好 下午 is afternoon 上午 is morning between early morning after early morning but before noon good remember that then we have one an 我跟你说晚安 我去睡觉了晚安 你也说 晚安,你也可以回答我,晚安 明天早上早起来，或者什么，所以我跟你说晚安，你可以说明早上早一点起来，明早上或者明天早上请早一点起来，嗯，或者什么，我可以说请早一点休息，因为我去睡觉的话不一定是立马就睡觉嘛。就睡着对我可能去拿手机看看视频啊看看什么东西啊比如说在网站搜东西或者在<咳> 早一点休息，意思是kindly rest early，但是在中文里面，在嗯嗯，可以说普通话吧，或者在中文吧，在在中国的话，人家意思是晚安，对，然后另一个是欢迎你。比如说好多次我会说欢迎您来到我的频道 意思是welcome to my channel 你也说谢谢或者我说欢迎欢迎欢迎就是welcome的意思 你学会了哪个你能用到，请在留言吧，在留言那部分留个言。Please leave a comment in the comment section。谢谢。